My hair is uneven. I am lumpy. I hear that about you. <laughs> you watch it over there, you leprechaun. Turn this damn hair off because you can't hear it and it's so loud. There we go. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Kristen Leanne and I'm a cruelty-free YouTuber. That's right, two, two lipstick review videos in a row. As you guys know, Urban Decay, or maybe you don't know, Urban Decay just came out with 30 brand new liquid lipsticks. I have been waiting for liquid lipsticks from Urban Decay for so long. Urban Decay as a company just is like me in makeup company, in makeup uh, form, makeup company, does that even make, I don't even know. I love Urban Decay and I've been waiting for these for so long. I kept asking Wendy, I'm like, when are you gonna make liquid lipsticks? And she was all quiet last time I saw her and I was like, oh, you know something. What can I say? I just love lipstick. If you saw my lipstick drawer over there, you, you know I have a problem. So these lipsticks um, are $18 each. They are launching on the 19th of this month. So it's just in a few days and you won't have to wait much longer. These have two types of finish. There is a metalized finish, which I assume does not dry completely matte. Although when I did try and remove it with a makeup wipe from my hand, it was hard to get off. So I, I feel like it's not gonna be matte, but it will be like, it will dry. It will dry, it won't say creamy. Do you know what I mean? The second finish is a comfort matte. I really like the sound of that. I love um, anything that's comfortable. I don't believe that these are vegan. It didn't say that they were vegan in any of the information that I received or on their website, so I'm just gonna assume no. There are 30 shades total that were created in the liquid lipstick. Uh, formula. However, I only received 27 um, for whatever reason, which is totally fine. So I can't show you all of them. And it looks like I have two um, duplicates of the same shade as well. So I might actually be missing uh, six of them. All of the um, lipsticks that you're going to see swatched, if they have a star next to the name, that means that they are exclusive to UrbanDecay.com or their freestanding store. So like you're not gonna be able to get it at Ulta or Sephora or anything like that for those specific shades. So keep an eye out for that. Let's take a look at this packaging. So this is the lipstick that's inside this box is actually not the one that goes with it. I kind of took them all out and like looked at them and then just shoved this one in here just for the sake of showing you the packaging. But the box looks like this. It's pretty spiffy. I always love with Urban Decay how you can always see the shade that it is because it's always on the outside. And I'm really impressed with the inside of this box because it is, it is um, on the bottom of this box that I received in the mail from Urban Decay. Tons of lips. It's like, it's so fitting. Oh, also, they, these are waterproof. I almost forgot to mention that. And this one that I'm holding right here is called Backtalk. Ooh, I like the name of that. Waterproof, long lasting, and I really like the package. This, uh, this top bit reminds me of their lipstick shells, so they just kind of go uh, really cohesively together. And I also really like the use of like, this, what is this? It's like chrome and then the gold together. And this kind of shows me that I can totally do my living room like this because I was just at the furniture store the other day. I was like, can I do gold and like a silver or like a gunmetal like together? And Urban Decay says you can. And in this package you get 0.17 fluid ounces. Okay, listen up real close. Before we get started with the swatches, I just want to say I'm going to be giving away five of these Urban Decay liquid lipsticks to one of you. And how you can win this is you will need to be subscribed to my channel. You will need to turn on notifications. That is a little bell, a uh, little guy like this next to the subscribe button. You will need to watch all of the swatches, find your top five favorite swatches, keep those in your head or write them down. You will leave those five shades in a comment below along with a lipstick emoji like this. And the last step to be entered to win these five lipstick shades of your choice will be to leave a lipstick emoji on this photo on Urban Decay's Instagram. And that's it. And then I will pick a random winner. I'll throw all you guys in a randomizer and um, check everything and pick uh, the first random chosen winner. And I will message the uh, winner here on YouTube. So just make sure that your settings are such so that I can message you. After we swatch everything, I'm going to pick out my top favorite shades as well and we can play with those together on camera. We can, uh, I'm gonna put them on, I'm gonna wear them, we're gonna see how they look, see how the color payoff is, uh, see if they're bunch proof. But before that, let's just go ahead and get started with the swatches. Cause 
Cause your mama forgot I know it hurts We're rolling by the cool kids on the first day of school I know it hurts gathered my I was gonna narrow it down to five but I really couldn't I loved a lot of the shades so I narrowed it down to my top six favorite shades and I'm gonna start from the lightest to darkest so first up here we have flame and this is one of the uh, metallic ones and it's just so pretty so this is really pretty I would say that the the it's so glittery too I love it I would say that the metallic um, Liquid lipsticks are a little more on the sheer side. They're not like you're gonna like over dry your lips only with this. Um, so I think this would be really pretty just by itself for kind of like a more natural kind of look like this. Or I think you could place it over one of the liquid lipsticks once it's dried and it would just like, just really make it pop. The consistency is really nice too. It's like, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything on my lips. It's not like vinyl-y and like kind of, you know, like kind of just like you just want to scratch it off. Next we have Backtalk. Not only do I like the shade because it's absolutely beautiful, but I like the name. It's just like a really nice like nude pink. So I put two layers of this on. It feels really nice. It's It glides on really, really well. And it feels, oh, it's like, it feels really moisturizing. The shade is so nice. Nothing. And they just still feel, like sometimes you know how when matte lipstick dries, it kind of feels like you've got a vinyl sticker on your lips or it like starts crumbling in the corners and stuff. Granted, I haven't been wearing this for a long period of time, but just right off the bat, it does feel more hydrating and it just feels like more comfortable on my lips, hence the comfort matte. I don't want to take this shade off. It's so pretty. I should have done this one last. It's like hardly coming off of the makeup wipe too. That's a good sign. Is that a good look? Is it? <laughs> Next is a comfort matte. This is Twitch, and this is kind of like a really pretty true like lilac color. Like it's got a bit of a blue undertone. I love this shade. This shade's really like playful and summery. Like I mean, you guys know how I feel though. Like I feel like you could you just wear it whenever the hell you want but I just feel like it's like really, I just wanna wear this with like a cute little summer dress or just like a total smoked out black eye and just like go totally opposite. Next up is another comfort matte and this is just a really pretty pink with like a touch of purple. It's called ZZ. Uh, this might be my favorite shade so far. I don't even need to say anything else. I love it. This is 1993, and this was one of my favorite lipsticks and lip liners uh, from the Vice Collection. So let's see how the liquid lipstick is. I think I should get into wearing more browns. 
This shade is so pretty too. I love this one. I will say this one did take me a few more um, layers to get the color even. I don't know if I needed to shape this or stir it up a little better or if that's just how the shade is because of the, you know, the color that it is. Um, but one thing I will say about these lipsticks, I don't know if you guys will understand what I'm trying to say when I explain this, but when you do a, you know, like a stroke on your lips and then the the brush or applicator runs out of product, it kind of stops and then you have to go back over and do it again. You don't really run into that problem with this. It continues going and creates a really nice like shade. You may have to go over it, um, especially with this shade, but it continues going and it just glides over kind of like gel, whereas the other ones you feel like you're applying layers of paint almost. Um, I, not all liquid lipsticks are like that, but I really like that about this one just kind of glides on really nice and feels super hydrating. It just like glides on over it. And if you need to go in with another shade or another coat, then you can, but at least it hasn't just like stopped. Did, did, did that make sense at all? Did, did, did that make sense at all? So those are my top six favorites out of this bunch. Although I did have a lot, uh, a lot of shades that I wanted to try, but I didn't want to sit here for an hour and have my lips just be like, okay, just go ahead and kill me already. Let me know in the comments below what your top five favorite shades are so you can be entered to win five of the new Urban Decay liquid lipsticks. Um, I can't wait to hear what you guys thought about these and which are your favorite. Let me know about uh, what you thought about the six that I chose. Did you like any of those? Would you wear them? What shade do you guys wanna grab first? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.